When we completed it and they had the prayer meeting the first day, I was uh, very impressed how everybody, facility and the students, all got together in that room. We were enjoying the space and we are using it like just an everyday space. They were just taking care of it and looking around. They were really smiled on everybody. I was really impressed. I mean, thinking back, I think overall it was the project team, you know, right from uh, everybody at BU, Dean Moore, Kevin Keith, uh, Jeff Hoseth, uh, the architect, everybody worked so well together that no matter what bumps we came across, everything went so smoothly. Um, it was just a very enjoyable project from start to finish. I agree. Yeah, that's a great team. I would say I'm probably most proud of the overall reaction we got from faculty, staff, alumni, students, everyone that's used the space. It's really a testament to the design team and the construction team and all of us that really worked on it. Since we've had time to kind of live into the space and use it, we've had some events, we've had some community lunches, and to hear people talk about, you know, this is a space we've never had before. Um, we can utilize it in ways we never dreamed we could previously, and now that we have, we can. Well, I, the place is just a beautiful place. It's, it's aesthetically pleasing. It's a uh, great green space. Um, I'm really happy that we have some place 
to gather as a community that's just so lovely and that we don't have to go to other places on campus to have uh, some of the events that we've been having. So I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy also uh, that, we're, it's, that we're able now to pay us uh, uh, quite a bit more attention to uh, a green use. I love the, um, the, the, um, the ability to recycle and to do composting, the stations that have been put up for that. And um, I love the fact that um, the air is being circulated so as to help the ecology also, that fresh air coming in. I really, I really do like that. I think I, I'm most proud of this project as an initial step into making the School of Theology a more ecologically just community. Um, that our buildings really represent our values, and this is our first big leap into the world of real sustainability and ecological practices. The uh, makeup air system brings in fresh air into the space that we did. It's the only space in the entire building that has free makeup air coming in through the system. Each heat pump will pump in fresh air when it's calling for it. We have three heat pumps in the system, two in that space and one for the office spaces. And, you know, it's just a great, great feature to have. Yeah, and I think a big piece of that too is if you could go back to see what the space looked like before we came in and completely gutted it and, and, and tore it down. Um, I mean, it just doesn't feel like we're in a basement right now, where before it was very clear that we were. Sustainability-wise, I mean, there was a lot of challenges, but overall, I mean, we take a lot of pride in all of the, the sustainable features that we that we really carry through on any of our projects. Um, we recycled over 90% of all of the debris that we took out of here, um, which is uh, it's really a magnificent number, you know. So it's you can point to all the features in this space, and there's there's a piece of that whether it's the material, the doors that came in that were all, you know, within 500 miles, locally grown. It's the feel in here that it no longer feels like a basement, you know. I don't know if I'd highlight one specific feature, uh, more kind of the focus of sustainability in pretty much all the decisions we made. The, the bathrooms are all, bathroom fixtures are low usage, and we're thinking that's going to save upwards of 45% of our water usage for the space. The lights are LED as opposed to conventional, we're thinking that's going to save about 35% in energy costs glue, adhesives, paint, all of that stuff was low VOC. The flooring, ceiling tiles, the furniture, uh, all the sheetrock for all the walls that we put up, all recycled content. So I think that kind of that determined focus of we want to make this as sustainable and as green as possible uh, would probably be worth highlighting. I love, love, love those lights. I can't say that enough. I love those lights. They are you know, just walk in and you see these lights hanging from the ceiling looking just so beautiful and awesome. And then to know that you're not putting such a, a burden uh, on such a large carbon footprint uh, on the earth that we're living in. It's just, it's awesome. You go into the bathrooms, you have this these wonderful features in our bathrooms. And because I'm a technology geek, I love the fact that uh, all the kind of computer space has been really placed and um, put into the room in a way that doesn't detract from the beauty of the room, but you can call up so quickly. I love that. I really love that. It's beautiful. It's a nice space. What I would highlight is the the ways in which how we've changed our building can be used as education for students, that they'll go to work in churches or community centers, and that their buildings can be a reflection of what they believe in the world that they want to create, and that the building is an educational tool now. I know my challenges are going to probably be similar to yours, because they were really your challenges, Leo, but... Um, well, one of them was keeping that ceiling height. Mm -hmm. So that those lights would all work in the uh, seminar room. Sure. Because we had to keep the ceiling up high because we had all duct work. We had existing beams, so we had to re-coordinate with the engineers. Everybody was working as a team yeah. to accomplish that. And uh, we made it happen.
Yeah, and there was some other logistically there were pieces to the project just from a construction side that were challenging for us. I mean, for one, we were in an area where we're right next to the only elevators in the building, which is the only handicap access throughout the entire building. So even though we had completely taken apart this entire space, we needed to maintain a safe egress and pathway for anybody to pass through at any time. And the other piece of it too is, is it's a tough location, so every delivery, every piece of material that was brought in here and every piece of material that was taken out of here, um, debris-wise, was all coordinated at 4.30 in the morning on the side of the road because we didn't have the ability to drop a dumpster or pull a truck up in the back of the building. Everything was right on the side of the road. I think personally for me the biggest challenge is probably we tried to get everyone involved, whether it was faculty, staff, students, other officers from the university. We tried to gather all their input. We wanted everyone involved. We wanted everyone to have some say in some way, shape, or form. So to kind of gather all that information, bring it together, and then for Dean Warren and I to sit down and really make those difficult, we know we're not going to please everybody decisions, um, but to still kind of have that faith that the decisions we're making are the right ones, and the space is going to come out beautiful, and everyone's going to love it. Well, like most uh, um, changes, uh, you've got uh, try you've got the the challenge of trying to work out the logistics of moving from the old um, to the new. And so, I think the largest challenge we had was the move in and the move out, trying to uh, um, make that as comfortable as we could for the persons who live down. Uh, in not live down, but they spend a lot of time down there. But who work down in that area, trying to make it uh, an easy, an easy th a thing to do. And also, uh, aside from that, the other challenge was where are we going to have our community lunches now that we know, now that we've got to kind of take a break from that space so that the remodeling can be done. And I think uh, a lot of kudos should go to Valentina Pry, who who worked so hard to try to make sure that we had a space uh, that was large enough for our student body, our faculty and administrators, but was also a nice space. And, and, and she, she was able to accomplish that. And I, we didn't miss, we really didn't miss a beat with the community lunches. We missed being here in this building, but when we came back in, it was all worth it. I think, uh, so I'm the community life coordinator and the biggest challenges for me have been um, easing community into a new space, into a new phase of how the School of Theology is trying to act as the School of the Prophets, um, and doing, trying to figure out the educational piece of things while holding our community in, through a transition. Um, so just like the everyday challenges of like, how community coffee is going to work, and do we all really fit into this room now? Maybe, maybe not. Um, and I think some of the, the challenges of stewardship, of um, making the hard choices to put our resources in one place meant that we had to take them away from other places, but that that was what the administration and the community felt was necessary.
the project manager. Benjamin Tucker is the director of building performance and renewable energy from the LEED group. Um, Emily Clark is the project coordinator for the Lean Green Associate. And our very own Kevin Keith has been spearheading this on our side. And most of all, we also want to thank Dean Moore for her leadership well, on this initiative and helping us to be a more sustainable community. So let's clap for all of those. for all of the people who have worked to make this space so wonderful for us to use. I would also like to thank the students who make this space necessary and possible. So why don't you guys give yourselves a round of applause by patting yourselves on the back. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, and both, I don't think enough can be said sides. about me and Mary Elizabeth Moore. She has spearheaded this effort. She has yeah. taken us from the beginning until the very end. And now we are in this wonderful space because of her and because of the collective efforts of everyone else this team. So I think we should give her another round of applause. Yeah. Now, this team is amazing. I just now that you've now that you've said that I'm gonna say just one <laughs> sentence. <laughs> this team right there is amazing. They have vision, they have dedication. They worked in this place because they loved it and because they loved the idea and they wanted to contribute to us. So they're the ones who are just fabulous. <laughs> Yay! Now at this time, if you will join us in a spirit of prayer, Courtney and Kai are going to lead us through a traditional blessing. This blessing is incorporated uh, from Mer a Native American traditional prayer using four directions, court, uh, Cortesian system. Mm -hmm. So we've been praying to the north, uh, east, south, and west. We'll start off with the east. And then um, this is also incorporating uh, Thanksgiving prayer from uh, the Book of Common Prayer. Mm -hmm. So if you all uh, go ahead and stand up. Um, if you're near a wall, you can place a hand on it or just try to fix the keys. There are sheets of paper on your tables, oh. and please read the bold as all good people do in church. <laughs> and here we go. Accept, O oh God, our thanks and praise for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation, for the beauty of the world, for the wonder of life, and the mystery of love. And at this time, feel free to offer a blessing of acceptance and love of the community, and the use of this space at this time, either out loud or in silence. All right, so to the south. We thank you for setting us a task which demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. Feel free to offer a blessing of hope of things that will be accomplished in the community and the use of this space at this time. Justice. Love. Development of all kinds. Hospitality. Loyal Loyal people. Remembering James Nash. Friendship. Service. Mm. Mm. All right, now to the West. <laughs> <laughs> we thank, thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you and one another. 
to offer a blessing of support for the community and the use of the space at this time. Mm. For mm. friendship. Mm. For midterms. Compassion. <laughs> <laughs> for gentleness. Wisdom and knowledge. For encouragement. Joy. Comfort. For sleep. <laughs> Lament. <laughs> <laughs> and now to the north. We thank, thank you for the blessing of family and friends and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. Feel free to offer blessing upon our family and friends within the community and the use of the stage for this time. Mm. For Ashley. For Ron. Community lunch. For Tommy Etta. Amen. Amen. 